Okay, so if you look at the base graphs for sine and cosine, you'll notice that there's a 1 in front of, of the trig function, and there's also a 1 in front of the x. Now we're going to move on and talk about what happens when you change that, when we have other things in play uh, with these particular functions. So we're going to look at the general form of a sine and cosine function. We see them here, uh, y equals a sine bx minus c, y equals a cosine bx minus c. We have our amplitude. So the amplitude is going to be how high or how low the graph goes, as we talked about earlier. Uh, you can get that directly from the equation itself. The period is 2 pi over b. Now the reason why it's 2 pi is because the period of sine and cosine is 2 pi. And so whenever you have a b in front of the x, that's going to change your period. So that's the formula that you're going to use to determine that. And then we have our phase shift formula. The phase shift is going to be c over b. So it's this, this one over uh, that one there. Now depending on whether you have a minus inside or a plus, the graph is going to move in the opposite direction, much, much like you might have covered in a pre-calculus class as far as shifts to the left or to the right. So the phase shift is talking about moving the graph from the left and to the right, and it tells you how far over that graph moves left or right. Okay, and that's what that phase shift actually is. So, if you have a bx minus c, the graph is going to move to the right. So essentially you're taking like the, op you can do the opposite sign here when you want to figure out what the phase shift is. So it, it's minus, so we're turning into a plus. You're still doing c over b. However, if it's written this way, if it's written as bx plus c, you can rewrite that as subtracting a negative. And so then the C value ends up being negative, which means that you have your C over B is less than zero. And that means the graph is going to move to the left. So the formula is always C over B, but a shortcut way of doing that is just take the opposite sign of what you see inside the parentheses there. And that's kind of how I'm, I'm going to be doing that in the rest of the examples that are in this particular section. Uh, but in actuality, what's happening is if you have a plus that's inside here, that's going to tell you it's going to move to the left. If it's a negative, it's going to move to the right. So in this case here, you would have a positive phase shift, so it would move to the right. If you have a negative phase shift like you have here, that means the graph is going to move to the left. So now that we've gone over all this, let's go through a couple of examples where we're just plugging things into the formulas and figuring out what this is. Okay, for this first example, we're going to find the amplitude, period, and phase shift only. We're not doing any graphs on this at all. Uh, just, just taking this off of the equation itself. So let's go ahead and do that. Amplitude is going to be, it's the absolute value of A. So I'm going to write the formulas down here as we go through so we can be reminded of that. Uh, absolute value of the A value, absolute value of negative 3.4, will be 3.4. So the amplitude is 3.4. Your amplitude is always positive because remember that's the distance from uh, the center of the graph so the highest or lowest point there is your amplitude. So it should always be positive since we're talking about a distance there. Okay, now period, the formula for period is 2 pi over b. In this case, we're going to do 2 pi over the b, which is 5. Now I should mention here that these formulas only work when the b value uh, is positive. If the b value is negative, we are going to do a problem like that a little bit later in the session that will address that. Uh, but in this case here, uh, it's, it, it works because everything is all, the, the B value is positive. 2 pi over 5. Phase shift, the formula is C over B. Okay, so if it's, there's a minus there, then the C just ends up being positive. You're Essentially, again, you're taking the opposite sign. But we know for sure because it's a minus there that the graph is going to shift to the right, so our phase shift should be positive. And that's going to be 7 over 5. Okay, That's our C value, and then the B value is uh, right there. So our answer is 7 fifths. Let's take a look at another example. Okay, the next one is a cosine, but uh, we're still going to follow the same formulas. Whether it's sine or cosine, it follows the same ones. Amplitude is still going to be the absolute value of A. The absolute value of negative 1 fifth is... One fifth. Again, amplitude is always positive. Next, take a look at the period. The period is, again, the formula for that is 2 pi over b. Okay, so we're going to do 2 pi over b. 
b. So 2 pi over pi over 2. We need to flip and multiply this one. So we're going to do 2 pi over 1, and we're going to multiply by the reciprocal, 2 over pi. Now the pi's are going to cancel here, and you get a 4 for your period. So your period doesn't always have to have a pi in it. There's some cases where you might end up with a whole number for your period, and also phase shift could be a whole number as well. Okay, so phase shift is C over B. Okay, now this time we have a plus sign. So when we put that in there, again, you can think of that as pi minus 2 minus a negative 2 pi over 3. So because it's minus a minus, you know, whatever comes after the first minus sign would be the value for C. So in this case, your C is negative. Or again, like I've mentioned before, you can think of it as taking the opposite sign. The plus sign does tell us that the graph is going to move to the left. That's why the phase shift here will end up being negative. Whenever you have a plus inside, it's going to be negative. Okay, so opposite sign of that is negative 2 pi over 3. We're dividing it by the number in front of the x. So we have divided by pi over 2. Again, this is another one where you have to flip and multiply. So negative 2 pi over 3, and you're going to multiply it by the reciprocal 2 over pi. Pi's cancel out here, multiply across the top, across the bottom, then you're going to get negative 4 thirds as your phase shift. So again, whenever you have a plus there, the phase shift is going to be negative. And the easiest way to think about that is just take the opposite sign. And so I'm going to do that from all the other examples moving forward here. It's going to take the opposite sign of that. Uh, but the formula still is C over B for your phase shift.